If you don't own a pocket square, your life is a lie. What I think O'Neill means to say is that it's really important to own a pocket square. Nope, you're dead to me. What up, y'all? It's your boy, O'Neal McKnight. And I'm Jess Lazama. And you're watching Good Taste, the show that's gonna get you looking like a goddamn gentleman. Now, what every man needs is the perfect suit, but what guys forget are the accessories. That might sound like something a lady would say, but let me tell you something. Guys have been wearing accessories from day one. Have you ever seen a painting of a king? Well, he's wearing a crown. That's an accessory. Don't you want to feel like a king? We're not here to talk you into going out and buying a crown or anything, but today we're talking about the little touches that you can add to any suit or jacket to take you from boring-ass courtroom appearance to dapper-ass gentlemen. Let's start with the tie clip. This one little detail can upgrade your class. Some rules of thumb to keep in mind is that your tie clip should never be wider than your tie, and the tie clip should go between your third and fourth button. Never higher, never lower. And for God's sake, the tie clip is supposed to be clipped to your tie and your shirt. Don't just put your tie clip on the tie to have the tie waving all around. It doesn't look hot. Now, cufflinks worn on a French cuff can immediately make any girl's heart melt. I bet you guys wish you'd known that sooner. But it's because cufflinks can add a personal touch to any outfit because there's so many cufflinks available. But for that classic look, go vintage. Match your medals. Gold watch, gold cufflinks. Silver watch, silver cufflinks, and silver tie clips. A pocket square is that icing on the cake. That pizzazz. You should never match your tie to your pocket square. That's corny. But don't be afraid of prints. Some bold polka dots or some colored stripes will have people thinking you're a model for GQ. So sexy. Don't you dare go wearing a G-Shock or a sports watch with a suit. Unless it's custom. Leather bands are always the way to go and you can never go wrong with a thin crocodile band. Just like a pocket square, you need a great pair of socks. Michael Jackson made his white socks iconic. And Michael Jackson wasn't playing games. You know why? Joe Jackson was his father. There were no games allowed. But white socks aside, don't be afraid of prints. Polka dots or stripes or even pastel colors like pink and lavender. And if you can match your socks to your pocket square, well, now you're in business. This last touch is one of two things. First, I will go with a vintage concert button on my lapel. It just adds flair. Or you can go with a brooch, which most men think is too feminine, but it's not. It's classy, it's sexy, and it's chic as hell. Stick to your thrift stores and vintage spots when you're looking for brooches. And if you're not man enough, you know what? Then don't do it. Are you man enough? I'm man enough. He's man enough. So what item do you think you're gonna grab first? Socks? Tie clips? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to All Deaf Digital for your weekly dose of class. I'm your host, O'Neal McKnight. And I'm Jess Lazama, and we'll see you next Monday on Good Taste. If you want to know what the flyest kicks you need to have in your closet are, from the freshest sneakers to the slickest dress shoes, we're going to let you know right here on Good Taste.